This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's just kind of dumb. Welcome you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, November the 20th in 1993, one of the greatest upsets in college football happened. Obviously, you can see on your screens this visual of Boston College versus Notre Dame and how Boston College sunk with number one Notre Dame in the 1993 season. So, anyway, the 93-94 NCAA season was huge for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Notre Dame came into the season not really that well expected to do well. They were ranked number seven, actually, in the game. So, coming into the season, they were ranked number seven. They started off by beating Northwestern at home. Then they went to Michigan and took care of number three. And took care of the number three Wolverines, 27-23. Then, as number four, they took care of Michigan State, Purdue, Stanford, and Pitt. And then, they went to BYU as the number three team in the country and beat them, and then they jumped up to number two. Wins over USC and Navy were huge. And then came Florida State in what people called the game of the century back in 1993. Florida State number one, Notre Dame number two. It was huge. This was NBC's crown jewel in college football coverage. Now remember, Notre Dame still, well, since 1990 to this day, their home games are broadcast by NBC. I don't think any other network covers Notre Dame home games. So anyway, the Fighting Irish took on Florida State in one of the greatest games of all time. They won 31-24 against Florida State. So coming off that, what they called the game of the century. It looked good. I mean, NBC had all the stops and all that. They had the great Charlie Jones and Todd Christensen doing the announcing. Bob Costas, John Dockery, even O.J. Simpson on the sideline. So that was huge. Then came number 17, Boston College, in what they call the Holy War. The two most predominant Catholic universities playing Division I college football would meet each other. Boston College would come out to a fast 10 nothing lead. Off of a field goal, and then Glenn Foley, the former Jets quarterback, passing to Ivan Boyd. Notre Dame got a touchdown pass from Kevin McDougal to Ray Sellers, 10 7. Boston College would pick up a touchdown themselves on another Foley to Boyd touchdown. Boston College in the third quarter had a 31 14 lead, and it looked good for Boston College. They even made. In the fourth quarter, Foley passed to Pete Mitchell for a touchdown. 38-17, 21 points. Boston College looked good. But then it happened. A minute later, Notre Dame got a touchdown run by Lee Becton. And then they went for two and got it to make it 13. With four minutes left, Ray Sellers plunged into the end zone. Field goal made it 38. Extra point, 38-32. And then, in the final minute, McDougal passed to Dawson for a touchdown to make it 39-38. And Notre Dame looked good. But somehow, in some way, Boston College went down the field and set up a 41-year field goal for the left footer, David Gordon. And the sophomore kicked it through the goalpost and sunk the number one team in the nation. Just a week after that number one team, Florida State got taken up by Notre Dame. Notre Dame may have overhyped themselves against Boston College. So that was not good. They had just lost number one. Notre Dame would have to wait till New Year's Day to play their next game, and that was against Texas A&M at the Cotton Bowl. It was a tight game against the Aggies, and they won 24-21, so they ended up number four. They were actually ranked number two in the AP poll at the final bout behind the champions from Florida State, who somehow, in some way, got Everything going. Then 
Notre Dame had some players that got into the NFL draft. Brian Young was picked seventh by the Niners. Aaron Taylor was picked 16th by Green Bay. Jeff Burris was picked 27th by the Buffalo Bills. Tim Reddy was picked in the second round by the Dolphins. Mike Dawson was third round by Kansas City. Other than that, not really a lot. But yeah, this game was humongous. I mean, after the big hype of Florida State and Notre Dame, one week later, Notre Dame fell to the hype in Boston College sunk them with Tom Coughlin being the main guy. And all that. So Boston College wins the Battle of the Catholic Universities. And Boston College, you know, proved them to a lot of people in the college football world that they weren't just the, the Doug Flutie team that took down Miami on U.S. Thanksgiving. They were real. And they were fantastic. Kind of weird, don't you think? But anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.